Sea levels may be rising, but one Bay Area, Bay Area beach community is not going down without a fight. KPI X5's Emily Turner is live in Stinson Beach, where some say sand dunes are the key to battling erosion. Emily? And what a battle it's going to be. Just to give you an idea, we're on the ebb side of high tide, and you can see how high those levels are behind me, and in fact, how close they are to these dunes as well. So the question Marin County is facing right now is, does it build more? It's a top tourist destination that is also a top priority for Marin County when it comes to sea level rise, not to mention those like Diane Scott who live in Stinson Beach. I live a block away, so I would be very concerned. Um, I'm in a flood zone. I also have a creek I have to deal with. This Marin rendering shows what could happen to Stinson if it doesn't take any action to protect it. It's vulnerable, Jack Leapster with the county says, from a double threat. That is an area where the, the beach itself will erode with more increased sea level rise and actually go underwater, drown essentially. Marin County is considering several options to protect Stinson Beach, but one of them is building something like this, a dune that looks natural and blends into the environment. But it would also provide a barrier between rising sea levels and the houses that would be on the other side of it. There are about 700 houses and millions of dollars in revenue at risk. It's one of the county's biggest beaches. We have a tremendous number of visitors at that beach, and if it's gone, that will really affect both the opportunities for recreation and the economy of the county. It's still very early in the process, but if funded, the study would even look into using sand from the ocean floor in a spot between the San Andreas and Golden Gate Faults. It would be a big ordeal, but... Is it worth it? Gosh, I don't know. And so Marin County is deep into the process of getting the money together for this study. And if they do that, then that study will likely take several years. And then once that happens and they come up with a solution, you can only imagine how long the public comment and the permitting process would be for that. So you're not going to be seeing any construction here anytime soon. But that ball is certainly rolling. Reporting live at Stinson Beach, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.